Looking at our radar and satellite and finally starting to clear things out, but we still have some low level moisture to deal with. You see it on the radar right here that there's still some drizzle and some light rain to go through the area that will continue as we go through the overnight hours, even off to our west. You notice the high cloud cover out there and low lying drizzle that will continue even as this area of low pressure moves off to the south and east. We're still going to have moisture feeding back as the next storm system starts to work in and that will create well more rain in our way. Unfortunately for us, fortunately that storm system we're looking at on the coast here of California bringing rain to areas that need it. This is their rainy season. This time of the year California expects to get rain and this will be moving across the country and a good rule of thumb to remember there is that when a storm system comes in on the southeast of end of the coast, it's likely to exit into the southeast as well. So one area moving out the next storm system moving in that will allow for warm air to come rushing out in front of it. But colder air is just around the corner. Unfortunately, we're going to go back to the colder pattern. Not exactly sure how long it's going to last at this point, but colder air is on the way. 49 degrees over out there tonight. Showers hanging around in a few spots, but really it's going to be drizzle and mist in a lot of locations. The wind coming out of the north shifting to the south as we go through the day tomorrow. Cloud cover sticks with us. Maybe a shower or two for the day tomorrow as well, but we're not going to see the widespread rain that we saw today. That returns as we head into Wednesday and even Thursday. We'll watch a shower or maybe even a rumble of thunder come through for the day on Thursday before colder air comes back into the picture. Surface map for tomorrow. Showers hanging around as that moisture starts to return back from the south and east. That system continues to slide off, but with the next system coming in and return flow around that high pressure system that's well off to our east, we'll see that moisture all across the southeast, so can't rule out a shower. Now the cold air coming in by the end of the week. We'll be watching not one, but two systems here. One system moving into the northeast, stretching all the way down into our area on another cold front. And because this trough will be digging into the Gulf of Mexico, we'll see another low pressure develop. And as it does, it'll slide up that cold front. So we'll have to watch out for lingering moisture around as that colder air plunges in. We could have some wet surfaces and then the temperature go below freezing as we head into Saturday morning. We'll have to watch that for you. Forecast those out there tonight right around 50 degrees. A shower or two in a couple of spots will warm up to near 60 for the day tomorrow. 30% chance of a shower or two and then looking at 40 and 60% chance of rain for Wednesday and Thursday warming all the way up to 70 before that Arctic air comes in. We're holding on to rain showers on Friday as well. That